Knowledge Transfer TV. This week's topic, how to enter into a power SEO conversation. Why would a dealer use Cobalt Power SEO? First of all, we have a robust website platform. We own our website structure, plus we have visibility and search volume and conversion ratio. This means we have access to a whole customer experience. SEO intelligence. We're the largest automotive network worldwide. For example, our meta title, keyword proximity, and all the other numeric factors. We make websites attractive to Google, period. We focus on automotive only. What works for retail does not necessarily work in the automotive industry. We concentrate our focus on automotive search terms. So why don't they do it themselves? Well, constant change, for one, you need to stay on top of all the Google updates, and there are tons of those. Lack of Google insight? You need to understand what and how Google updates impact your site. And lastly, this is very labor intensive. I mean, I can barely keep up with all this. I'm sure you're struggling. Can you imagine a dealer trying to do it on their own? No way. So, where are the dealers hurting the most? Competitive landscape. If you were talking to a dealer, you'd say, you're just not in the game across all profit centers. And that's the key. Loss of revenue and profit opportunity. So how do you enter into a conversation about Power SEO? Make an observation, a setup, and do joint discovery with the dealer by searching for the dealer by the various profit centers. I see you're not ranking on page one. Do you understand why? Let me tell you what's going on. It's search volume, it's website traffic, it's conversion. It's all about managing relevant content at a feverish pace. So increasing your business acumen and avoid mooing. Tying the business mindset into your conversation is going to give you incredible power and control. Again, what's on the back of the dealer's forehead? It's the income statement. They're thinking, how do I make this work? This is the hurt. So engage dealers as their trusted business advisor, and you'll soon find yourself in a relationship where you're making a lot of sales. Applying the car opportunity analysis. Use the model to show the dealer the return for investment. The Sales Opportunity Calculator. What's this? It's pretty cool if you ask me. You can have a pretty compelling business discussion just by understanding some of the numbers. But the real power is in how you use your assumptive close. Check this out. Alright. The goal. To show the dealer the opportunity and potential return by investing in this product. To show this, you'll need to obtain a few of their business performance metrics. Number one, you'll need to get their average sales per month. If they don't offer it up, just mention the national average of 100. They'll correct you. Just enter that right here. Next, you're going to need to get their closing ratio. Now, If they're reluctant to share this again, you can use the national average of 14%. They will usually offer it up at this point too because they think it's 20, 25 and even higher. When you get that, enter it just here. Then the sales opportunities will automatically calculate for you. Next, you'll need to obtain their average gross revenue per deal. Again, if they're reluctant, you can offer up the national average of 1800. That's front and back gross. Their eagles will step in at this point and really provide you with their number. Now, 
Using the assumptive sales approach, begin with the line, let's do an experiment, dot, dot, dot. Now, you'll need to fill in this number of, oh, two, three percent right down here. And you'll see in this graph that we're only focused on new car sales. I'm sure you've looked around just a little bit and you've started to notice that you could do this for all the profit centers just by adding a little bit of the uh, key metrics and uh, the numbers that you can get from the dealer. Okay, lastly, you'll need to enter the product price. You enter it right over here in the corner, and the tool will automatically calculate the various indicators. And that's what's really cool about this tool. So, real quick, if I change the 100 to 75, you'll see that automatically their sales opportunities number goes to 536. Also, all the numbers in this shaded green color, all of those will adjust. Right? So these various indicators are incremental sales, total adjusted sales, right? Taking the 75 at 14% for incremental uh, assumption of 2%, you start to see the lift. So 11 additional opportunities would be needed to basically justify this bet. And all advertising is just a bet. It's calculated risk. And what this tool does is put the math to the paper and does the calculations for you. Now I wouldn't recommend that you sit in front of a dealer and do this. You could, but it's kind of nice just to have it off to the side, especially if you have it on your iPad. So it's a pretty cool product. So check this out. Boom. Okay, here's the role play that you should be doing with your DOS. It's assumptive selling with this, okay? So it's something like, hey, here's the agreement, Mr. Dealer. If we increase sales by, what, 2, 3%? 2, 3%? I don't know. How about 3%? Okay. And if we increase sales by 3%, you can handle that, right? Okay. Then we will increase sales 3% or more. And then you will agree to either make a decision to add more people or to just stay at three grand for the rest of the year. So it's kind of the assumption of, look, let's just go ahead and try this out. Let's call it an experiment. And if we can increase sales by two, three percent, and after seeing the results after a period of time at the end of the contract, the dealer just has one simple decision to make. It's either add more money to the program or just stay where they're at. Either way, it's a win-win. So there you have it. Simple as one, two, three. 